I encourage you to close your eyes and begin to come to that place of rest. Begin to think about your breathing, slowing down, focusing your thinking on God, who is love. As you slow down your breathing, as you relax, as you come to a place of rest, and begin to breathe in deeply. And as you breathe in, you are receiving the unconditional love of the Father. You're breathing it into every particle of your being. Unconditional love flows through your being. As you are still, let God love on you in that place. If you struggle to receive, just choose to invite love, to invite joy and peace, to come, to flow in you and through you, that you would be in an atmosphere of rest all around you as that unconditional love flows through your whole being. Be still and let God show you first love. Let him love on you. You're in a safe place, cocooned in God's love. Here's where you can choose to get out of that boat, abandon yourself to God, put your trust in him, sink into that vast ocean of unconditional love. Whatever is holding you back, whatever fear you might feel, whatever protection mechanisms you might have placed around yourself, whatever walls you might have put up, by choosing to let all of that go, to abandon yourself to God, you are allowing him to pull all those walls down, to set you free from any prisons that we've placed ourselves in, to sink into love. Give God permission to remove those coping and defense mechanisms so you can feel and sense deeper and deeper in love.
I believe the Father wants to meet you face to face. I believe the Father wants to look into your eyes. And he wants you to look into his eyes. He wants you to feel his heart. The heart of love. The Father wants to hug you. The Father wants to tell you how much he loves you. The Father wants to heal all our wounds and remove all of our scars. So fix your thoughts on seeing the Father face to face. Let that be the desire of your heart. Let those thoughts form in your imagination. Picture a door, the door in your spirit. The Father's knocking. You can choose to open the door, or reach out with your choice and open that door. Invite the Father in. And as the Father comes in, he hugs you. And he breathes his very breath into you. Maybe you still feel but you're struggling, carrying any negative things towards your parents, just hand those things over to the Father. If you're carrying guilt and shame about your own parenting, hand it over to the Father. If you have any wounds, let the Father show you and let him heal you. receive the living words of his very breath as you breathe in his life deeply you feel the rhythm of his heartbeat as he hugs you as he embraces you you feel like you're home in his embrace hear his words I love you I love you. 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 I believe God would just start whispering into your ear, directly into your heart, some of those amazing thoughts he has about you, those original thoughts, a vast sum of thoughts, all good. And as he speaks, let them restore you to his original desire for you. Wait in his presence as he shares his heart of love. Infusion of love. But words of love and affirmation and encouragement of nurturing and caring, of compassion. 
I love you. I love you. You are the treasure of my heart, the apple of my eye. You are my deepest desire. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Feel free to stay in that place, that place of intimacy, that place of love. If God is still speaking to you, just stay there. <laughs> 